This is Lexi from OVA and you're watching an OVA Teams tutorial where we give you the tools, the knowledge and the know-how to grow your business, stand out and inspire the world together. So, you've made the decision to use OVA Teams. Now what? Where do you start? How do you set up? How do you make sure that you and your team work efficiently? Great questions and all questions I'll be answering for you in this video. I'll be showing you three simple steps to over team success so that you and your team will be ready to rock, roll and rule your workflow. Let's do this. Step number one, get your team in. As the saying goes, there's no iron team. So the first thing you need to do is get your team into your over team. In our over team, we have our marketing manager, designer, social media manager, advertising manager, and of course, yours truly. When you've created your team and given it a name, you can begin adding members. This little cog at the top here will bring up your team settings. This is where you can add and remove team members. Simply tap to add a team member and then choose how you'd like to invite them. Your team members will get a link. If they have over already, it will take them straight into your team. If not, they'll need to download over first, then come back to your invite and tap the link. Here's how that works. When they tap the link, over will open and they'll be taken to a sign up screen to create an account. This is to ensure that you know who they are and that they can get notified with updates from us and you. Once they've registered, they'll automatically be in your team and be ready to go. Now, if you're using over teams to share work with your clients and not necessarily your team members, the same will apply. But you can use privacy settings on your folders to make sure only specific members see specific folders. Step number two, get your branding in. One of my favorite things about using over teams is that I have fast and easy access to our logo in all its forms, our color palette and our font. This comes in handy when I need to send assets to the media, also when I'm creating presentations and when I'm creating content like this tutorial video. It makes sure that I stay on brand and never have to bug our designer again. So how do you create this folder? Let me show you. First things first. Create your brand folder so that it's ready for you when you want to save your projects into it. Now you're going to create a project for each asset you have. For example, to add your logo to the folder, start a new project in Over, tap on graphics, scroll to the bottom where you see logos, then tap on the plus to add your logo. Tap the tick to save and then save it to your brand folder. To add your color palette, start with an image of your color palette. Then add a simple shape at the bottom. Now to start building your color palette, tap to edit the shape and tap to edit the color. Then scroll the eyedropper tool over the first color in your image. Then tap the plus on the color dot below to add this color to your palette. Slowly move to each color and add your color dots as you go. When your whole palette is in the dots below, tap the up arrow on the left, then tap to save your palette. Now you can share this palette with your team by tapping on the three dots and tapping share. When your team taps the link, the palette will automatically be saved to over on their phone. You can also save this project into your brand folder so that other members of your team can do the same exercise. Adding your font will take a little extra effort, but once it's there, it'll be easy. Now, this is the only brand asset that isn't shareable across accounts, so each person in your team is going to need to add this font to their Over app first. And to do that, they will need to add that font to their Dropbox or Google Drive app on their phone. Then, in Over, create a new project and add text. Then tap on this arrow to open the font library. From here, you can scroll to Custom Fonts and simply add your font. Step number three, get organized. 
Let me start by saying that I'm a little obsessed with organizing. I love me a folder. But while I know that not everyone is as obsessed as I am, keeping your projects organized into folders can shape hours off your workflow. We have folders for everything from ads to brand to tutorial videos and social media. This means that each person on our team, from our performance marketer who only needs to work on ads, to our social media manager who needs to work on our social posts, can easily and quickly find, share and work on the projects they need. It's a no-brainer. That's it. Three simple steps for over team success. Get your team in, get your branding in, and get organized. And remember, you can find tips, ideas, and inspiration in our Discover feed. And if you need any assistance or have any questions, feel free to pop us an email at helloteams at overhq.com. See you next time.